Within Business Central, you can set up employees and pay them reimbursement. So in order to start, we're going to make sure that we have employees set up within the system. So if you go to Finance and Employees, you can see that our test aid base has several employees set up. We're just going to take a look here at Annette really quickly. So you can set up as much or as little information on this card as you'd like. So it has the basic data, like their name and address, et cetera. You can also go to employee and ledger entries to see all of the reimbursements that the, this employee has had. Okay. So in order to start entering the reimbursements, I'm going to go to the general journal. So if you click on finance and general journal, I'm going to open this journal here. And I already have one set up for you. So I have uh, my expense account that's going directly to the general ledger. And then the balance account type, which is going to credit the employee in this case. So it's going to credit the employee. And AH is a net. And I'm going to head and post this. Okay, so now the expense has been posted within the system. And of course, if you have several employees, you would have several lines of expenses there. So now we're just going to go and pay in that. So let's go to cash management and payment journal. And this is going to look very familiar to a regular vendor payment. So we're going to go ahead and open a general batch. There's already some data here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and delete that out of here. So we're going to click on prepare. And instead of clicking on suggest vendor payments, we're going to go ahead and suggest employee payments. So we can have this summarized per employee, or we can have each line separate. And I'm going to keep it separate for now. I'm going to uh, select my posting date. And let, if we wanted to only have a net details come in, we can do that as well, but I'm going to leave that blank also. I'm just going to click OK. And then OK again. And it looks like we only have data from the net, but you can see that $324 right here. OK, and it already has all of the details filled out. So from here, all you have to do is click on check and print check. Let me make sure that it is a check payment. So all the way in the right hand side here where it says bank payment type we're going to change all that to computer check so that the system knows we want to print a check and i'm going to click check and print check okay and then i'm going to just print one check per vendor per document number here okay then i'm just going to print you can't preview a check so i'm going to print Okay. You can see here I have one check for a net for $1,224, which makes up these three employee expenses. And then I'm going to post. Okay. Now I'm actually going to go and take a look at an employee card. If you remember earlier, there was just those two lines. So I'm going to go ahead and to the employee ledger and now you can see that there were three separate expenses and she got paid one check for those three expenses okay. so as you can see entering employee reimbursements in the system is a very simple process and it's very similar to the entering the vendor payments